Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy XV World Edition. When we last left off, we finished off all of the Chocobo races, and well, after the episode, I decided to redo the hunts over here at the Wiz Chocobo Post. Just so that way, we get the quest. So what'll it be today? Well, just so that way we get the egg pack. Works how Boy, you it really works saved our hides. When you turn in a weapon for him to fix him for you have to do a few quests and you have to rest somewhere and then you'll get a phone call saying that it's uh it's ready to go. So I went ahead and did three quests. Glad to see y'all made it back in one piece. And now well we're gonna go rest at the little trailer that's over here at the Wiz Truck Hopefully Boy, we'll you do really that. saved um, our hides. Oh a very cute sight in front of us. Probably. It's all of them. We did four hunts. Grab some grub before you go. Gosh, we have so much time. Or, well, I have some time today. Rather. Most of it's just been messing around. <laughs> Alright. I'll stay here. Yep, stay we here. could crash right here. So much experience, cash. Like, look at that. Over 600k for everyone. That. That. No idea what that is. No idea what that is. Well, anyway, I don't know what that is. Huh? Perfect timing. <laughs> Very nice. That is actually a really beautiful scene. I. Go to this stuff real quick. Alright, we're gonna save that. Huh. Huh. And that's all we have. No phone call. Maybe we have to travel away from here. Cause that that didn't work. No, I can't. So what'll it be today? I Y'all still Good. keep it on, keep it on? Nope, I'll go. send out word when it does. Y'all be sure to come and see the chick. Yep, yeah, okay. So that's not showing up. There goes that plan. Guess we have no choice but to go and search for more quests to do. We're gonna auto our way to somewhere. Actually, you know what? I am. Screw it. We're gonna go to Cape Time. We're gonna do the quest out there because there are a few that we haven't done yet, apparently. So I'll see you guys when we get to the quest location. And we're mm, here at Really Cape Time. looking forward to Iris' is cooking. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Aw, oh, don't be that way. It's different when a girl cooks for you. That is true. Alright. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's do a quick little shop here. Hello there. Let's see what they have, and we'll buy them out of everything that we don't have. At least in terms of green. Thank you. Let's buy another seven of those. We'll buy them out of these. Now to head on up top and go talk to Iris and Talcott, because they both have quests for us. Now that I think about it, these are probably the kind of quests that we need to do in order to activate getting the call from Wiz about the egg factory. And not just like hunt quests. Hey, there's Iris. Where's Talcott? Wait, Talcott's there. Oh, the friendly cat! Oh! Hey there! End of the garden. Good news, Nott. Oh, Our garden is up and this. running. So, Nott, you gonna put your green thumb to the test? And do what with it? Uh, grow vegetables? You can eat them or sell them if you want. 
Fine. I forgot so about this. It all starts with a seed. Here, try these. You can now grow crops in the Ursus field, namely the rare cayenne carrot. If it knocks a strong aversion, Ignis cannot use them in his cooking. Huh. How can you dislike carrots? Carrots are amazing. Can I talk to you? Carrots are like one of the best vegetables. Like how, how can you hate them? Hey so there. So you plant them in the ground. Oh, wait. Where? Oh. Where do I go to plant them? Back here in the back of Oh, it's over here. I can see it on the map now. That's actually cool. Oh, hey, it's you, Monica. So it seeds. This is actually pretty cool. The seeds are in place. Check on them after resting overnight. Harvest crops for when they are ready. Okay. Friend the cats up there. We're gonna go talk to Talca though. Because Talca has his own quests for us, I'm pretty sure. So we can turn in. There you are. Or some quests for us to do, rather, I should say. How you doing, Talcott? Good, Prince Noctis. <laughs> What's that there? Oh, this thing? It's a cactuar figurine. I really like cactuars. They're so oh. annoying. You can buy them in different places and in different colors. I want to finish the collection, but I still need a yellow one and a blue one. I guess you wouldn't have seen them at any shops, have you? Oh, sorry, no. Never paid attention to them before. Oh, well, of course you wouldn't. But I will from now on. If I see the colors you're missing, I'll grab them for you. <gasps> Looks like a script I'm gonna add to your docket. Really? Thank There's you! As I thought, we've completed at least one or two of them. <laughs> Okay, so we've only completed one. We have multiple more, or multiple others to go. It would be nice if we could find some way to track down the cactuars for him. Gotta say, though, it's a pretty grown-up hobby for a little guy. Perhaps we could survey some shops while we're still in Lucis. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Hmm. All right, we're gonna go talk to the friendly cat. Huh? Hey, you're the cat we saw in Galden. Oh, your paws sure brought you a long way from home, little guy. You must be hungry after all that walking. No restaurants <laughs> around, though. I wonder if anyone around here knows a thing or two about cat food. Why don't you try asking Monica? She mentioned having kept several cats back home. Wow, and she never gave off a crazy cat lady vibe. I hope we don't have to go all the way back to Galden. Especially after the cat came all the way to Kayam. What drew him here anyway? His dear friend knocked, of course. Hmm. All right, we're going to go talk to Maka now. Maka's in the garden, I believe. First, though. Get red. Oh, hold on. Oh, the Solemn. Okay. At some point, we're going to head to the Solemn, and then you guys will just see me in the Solemn buying the figurine. But for now, we're going to go talk to Monica. <coughs> Hold up. Oh, hey, Prompto. Take photo. a shot from here. Good call. Oh, now dang. it's picture time. That's even pretty cool. Find another picture to delete. Ready or not? In order to keep this one. Hey, that's actually pretty cool. The Gladio is completely blocked out. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, we're gonna save this one. The gang's all here, see? Us? Alright, now to talk to Monica. May I help you with something, Prince Noctis? I was hoping you could fix some food for me. 
Gladly, although I should warn you, our pantry is primarily stocked with vegetables right now. Oh, not for me. For a cat. Forgive my misunderstanding. I can prepare something, provided I have the ingredients, but I'm afraid we're all out at the moment. If you need fish, I can go catch one. I would be most appreciative. I'm loath to admit, fishing has never come very naturally to me. Lucky for you, I'm a pro. Fortunate indeed. Should the tide prove too troublesome, you might also stop by the stand. I recall seeing some cat food on sale. A fish fit for a feline. Sure is. Let's haul her back to Monica. Hey, we already have one. At least one. <clears throat> Excellent catch, Prince Noctis. I'll start cooking straight away. Thanks for the help. It's no trouble at all. I love cats. I used to keep three back in the Crown City. Wow, that's a lot of cats. <laughs> yes, I enjoyed many fond memories with them. Making this food reminds me of the time we spent together. Sorry to keep you waiting. I hope your furry friend finds this to his liking. Well, let's go deliver it. And after we turn in huh. this quest, I'll go to the saw real quick, grab that cactor, and we'll turn this into Falcon. All right, dinner is served. <laughs> You're really eating it up. Forget to thank the chef. <laughs> you really got a soft spot for animals, don't you? Like they bring out a nicer knocked. Could try being nicer to us. Could, but I won't. Sure. How that cat have a sky gemstone? Uh, Alright, so I'll see you guys when we get to the stall in order to buy that cat tour, and then we'll meet up back here and get the talk it. I'll see you guys when we get there. Yeah. All right, so we're here in the salon. Let's just walk in up when I notice something. Um, you, you seem to have curved your car just, just, just a little bit, man. I mean, you know, I think some of these cars are a little on the curve, but uh, nothing like this. Come on, dude. Learn to park better. Anyways, let's go and actually buy the Cactua Piccadi. Cactuet of Morta, as it's called. And we're gonna hop because it's definitely faster. Or at the very least, it's not as boring. Good thing we're almost here. I don't know why I'm here. Oh, what else is this? <laughs> I can't believe it went wrong. Yeah, Man, it's hot. So many stalls here. All? Oh. Too hot to move. What? The? Or do anything. I... Why? Why did it auto-focus on that guy? I... I'm confused. I'm confused. New in town, are you? Well, go on, oh, take wow. your time! I didn't go any of the That's not why. You can win drenched. What?! Here you go. Oh, okay. Enjoy. Staining. Takes the owner from blood stains. Oh, so this is like the aesthetic stuff. Oh, that's cool. Or well, some of them are uh, aesthetics. We're gonna get the capture model. Come back again. Rabato. It's a proper Wait. mountain. One I got day, it. I'm gonna climb it. Huh. I, I got the figurine. We stock only quality products here. I got the figurine. Thank you. Too hot to move. Or do I get yeah. Sweet! Thank God. That's the okay. whole collection. Let's pay Telka to visit, shall we? The little guy's gonna be stoked when he sees the cactuars. That I'm looking forward to seeing. Indeed. It hasn't been easy for him. Let's go put a smile on his face. Alright, now with that being done, I'll see you guys when we get back to Cape Time. It's gonna take a minute. Lucy, I'm home! Okay, that's very bad joke. Whatever. Here you go, Talget. <laughs> Hey, Talca, we got you the goods. What? Oh, really? Whoa! Yes! I got them all now! Thank you so much, Prince Noctis. Is that, aren't there more to get? I could sworn there were more. Huh? 
Aunt Monica teaches me how to fight, like a crown's guard. Huh. Remind me, who's in charge of supper tonight? Uh, it's me. Uh, sorry. Oh, I can't talk to you. I can't talk to you. Wait, there's something I can check. Hold on. What can I check? Okay, well, we'll pick up this and get this magic flask. Something I can check. Alright, well, well. Let's head upstairs. See if we can go. Oh, there's another thing. Lucian King's Crest. Oh, nice. Go over here. Is there anything here? Oh, there's a couple things. The Regalia Crest. Alright. So we can stand, spend the night here at the hidden getaway. Okay. Let's do let's it. Let's call it a day. Soft beds, baby. This is really convenient. Uh, for multiple reasons. For one, the garden. It only grows at night. And two, a nice place to stay. Oh! Nice little cutscene. We get to explore the hidden getaway. Not too shabby. Hmm. Kinda nice, actually. I don't know why they called him over there. <coughs> All that cash experience. So Wes, are you here at the shop? Iris. <laughs> Look on his face! Oh my gosh! I gotta save that. Uh, we'll get rid of this one. Get one last look at it before we get rid of it. And saving that. I don't understand why they wanted us to focus in on this. Shopping and very dark and dickness. Alright, there we go. Oh, we should be getting a call. No call. None. Okay, well, you know what? Let's go check the garden. We're not getting a call yet, apparently. I'm kind of disappointed right now, actually. Not gonna lie. Morning. Sup? <coughs> Hey, carrots. I am carrots. <coughs> Say, are you the ones working this garden? Yeah. Uh, who are you? Oh, sorry. The name's Tony. I run a restaurant not too far from here. On the hunt for some high quality produce. You have a great plot, perfect for growing all sorts of produce. Any chance you'd be willing to part with some? I pay good gill. Hmm. Tony, a local restaurant proprietor, is partial to KM, or KM. Hi, I'm Carrots, and we'll offer you various items in exchange for them. 500 gill, Uwat berries, auto parts, weapons. Uh, Uwat berries. These greens look great. My cooks and customers are gonna eat these up. Is this it? The thing Arctura needs? I believe so. Huh. Let's hurry back with it. Look at this loam. All right, we'll get another set of what berries. These greens look great. My cooks and customers are gonna eat these up. Hmm. I'll be back to buy whatever you're willing to sell. So let me know if you got any leftovers. So we need 2,000 gill for each of those. Total, for all four seeds. Can I plant more? Uh. Can I plant more? I don't think I can plant more. But what is the point of all of these? Do we just like wait for them to propagate and expand out until the whole thing's filled? I don't know. All right, let's talk to yours and see what she has to say. Hey there. 
There's something about savoring the vegetables of your own labor. We should totally do this again. So if all your carvers upon completing class and hunts. Hey there! We made a little grave for Jared. You should stop by. I'm sure he'd like to see you. Grave Be careful! Jared. Where? Okay. This this I have to see. This I I definitely want to see. Oh hey, there's a book back here. Commentary offering a sweeping view of majestic Sigillian Sigillan Sea. The ocean beyond the Cape connects Lucis and Accordo, formerly serving as an important maritime trade route between the two countries. As relations between the two nations shifted and demons began appearing around the continent, maintenance of the lighthouse that guided ships to shore grew difficult. The beacon on the rocks soon shone no more. Once warm and inviting, the Cape at present feels cold and deserted. Caravans that very rarely grace the seaside parking lots are usually filled with adventurous anglers hoping to catch a coastal whopper or hungry hunter who's looking for a briny bite. Otherwise, the cape is currently all but devoid of human activity. Well, not anymore, it's not. Where is Falcon's grave? Hmm. <clears throat> My guess is where it would be. So there's another item? Dude, the base silver piece and a mega potion. Oh nice. <sighs> Alright, hold on, I got I gotta take a moment to look this up. Alright, so I know where it is at now. I know where the grave is. <coughs> Have to go over this way. Or to find it. Garrett Hester, gallant steward. God dang it. Garrett Hester, gallant steward and loving grandfather. Rest in peace. I'm sorry. Thanks for everything. Anything to say, Monica? No? Alright, well, I think with this you, this is the perfect thing to end off this episode with. So thank you guys so much for coming out to today's episode of Final Fantasy 15 World Edition. Sorry that well, we didn't get to see you. Ah, wind's picked up. <coughs> storm's gonna ruin my hair. I'm not sure whether it's a storm front or just the terrain. Yeah, just worry about your stuff blowing away. Sorry that we didn't actually get to see probably one of the cutest things in this game, which is the charcoal hatching, but... Oh well. I'm sure we'll get to see it soon enough. Thank you guys so much for coming out to today's episode of Final Fantasy XV World Edition. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Also, consider hitting the subscribe button to get notifications for our next upload a video. Don't forget to also check out links down below in the description for my Twitch, my Patreon, my Streamlabs, my Twitter, my other YouTube channel, and all the other stuff down below in the description. Don't forget to also comment down below if you thought of today's episode, and don't forget to share this video on social media. Now, with all that being said, thank you guys once again for coming to this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.